Hi, I'm Tim. Please join me in this video as I give you 10 good reasons why you should consider using foam board to build your next RC model airplane. Let's get to it. I've been building model airplanes for a little over 50 years, and balsa is the main material that I use to build airplanes, many people use to build airplanes. We're all comfortable with balsa, balsa builds great airplanes. But over the past couple two years, I've been experimenting using 3 16th inch foam board to build RC models with some very pleasing results. And I'd like to share you some of the reasons why you may consider using foam board to build your next RC model airplane. As a reminder, in this video and all of the videos, if you just hover your mouse down below on the timeline, you can go to specific chapters if you wish to jump ahead to a portion of the video. For this video, I've been using 3 16 inch wide foam board. The sheets that I got off of Amazon are 30 inches long, 20 inches wide. This whole sheet weighs <coughs> of 5 ounces. If you take off the paper, you'll probably reduce that by about two ounces. Some of my models, I'll keep the paper on to paint on it. Other ones that, are, that I want very lightweight, I'll take off the paper. It'll be your choice. You can get the um, foam board at a range of places, art supply stores, as I mentioned, for Amazon for me. I just wanted to show you, here is a piece of foam board with the paper backing. If you just take the uh, back off, you can very easily remove the paper. Make sure you do both sides. It'll tend to curve, uh, curl if you don't do one side over the other. And that is what the foam uh, looks like. The big advantage of the foam for these foam board airplanes is the foam is very light for the size of model you're building. And as a general rule for models, four or five foot and under wingspan, light models fly better. Also, we're extremely fortunate at this time of the hobby to be able to use foam. We have powerful brushless electric motors with light lithium polymer batteries. The motors mount very easily. It's very easy to add power to any foam model. The electric motors are smooth running. There's minimal vibration. If we had to use the old gas engines on the foam, it just wouldn't be possible. The things we could do, the engines were heavy, did a lot of vibration, and all the exhaust, the oil, would just tear up the foam. So we're, we're in a good position to experiment and enjoy the advantages of foam board RC airplanes. We're just about ready to get into the 10 reasons. What I want to mention, I'll be showing, uh, demonstrating several foam board RC airplanes that I've built over the past couple of years. We'll have a short film clip showing those planes flying. If you're interested in building those or further information in the description, I'll have uh, links to the videos on all of these uh, foam board aircraft. Reason number one, foam board is perfect for beginners as well as a seasoned hobbyist. Beginners can very easily do a quite effective trainer from foam board building it. If you're a more advanced flyer, you can do a pretty complex um, model. An example of the complex model is this F-22 foam board that I built. We'll have uh, a video of it flying later. This wasn't all that hard to build. I wouldn't recommend it as a trainer, but it goes together in a couple of days, foam board, and it flies pretty well. A second big advantage of foam board is it's inexpensive compared to balsa. We have to go to uh, pretty specific places to get balsa, hobby supply houses. Not too many local hobby stores carry the balsa. The foam board is available for, from a wide range of sources. As I mentioned, I use Amazon, but you shop around at uh, craft stores, art supply stores. There's a large supply of foam board that will help you keep the price low. And also Dollar Store has a, has a wide range of foam board products. Another advantage of foam board is it's very easy to apply acrylic paints. Um, these are acrylic paints, poster board paints. Acrylic's important because they clean up with water, there's no odor, they're very safe paints, and they're widely available at craft stores. I paint the acrylics directly on the models. They cover quite well. I keep the paper covering on. A good example of this is my Bronco um, foam board RC airplane. I'll get a link in the description. And this is a good example of just applying the paint decals are very easy to apply there's a link in the video on how to make your own decals and when you do apply the decals or the paint always a good idea to put a light covering of Krylon seal coat so it when it gets damp at the field it doesn't affect the decals or the paint and this Bronco which is one of my designs I built several of them 
encapsulates the advantage of foam board. You can build this airplane in two days. It goes together that quick with the uh, wing techniques. It's lightweight. It just is great. You put it in the car, take it to the field and fly, and it handles very well. Let's take a quick look at a video of the Bronco flying. I keep coming back to how lightweight the foam board is. When you take off the paper covering, if you're trying to build the smaller models, the uh, weight savings is really quite considerable. Uh, this is a little airplane that I built. I try to keep it under three ounces with a park zone brick control here. And this goes together pretty quick, as you can see. You can add an airfoil to it with the wing ribs, and it flies quite well. Note also for decoration techniques, I use colored packing tape for the wing. Um, it goes together quite well. And in addition, if you do want to add some strength to the model, carbon rods are a very effective uh, technique. I got my carbon rods at Amazon. This is a two millimeter carbon rod. I'll have a little bit more on this later with my flat um, airfoil designs, but these are lightweight, extremely strong. You just glue them onto the bottom of the wing and they fly great. The fifth reason that you should consider using foam board is you can build models incredibly fast. The foam board uh, cuts with a number 11 X-Acto knife. It's very easy to cut. Again, this is lightweight, but what we use for a lot of the uh, joining is hot glue guns. This is a standard hot glue gun. You have a glue stick here. It heats up the glue and it comes out here with a trigger. Let me demonstrate that very quickly. We just squeeze the trigger. The glue comes out like that. You put it in place, and after about um, literally 10 seconds or so, that is all joined. It, it'll dry, completely dry in about 20 seconds. So you can see how quickly the models go together using hot glue and your foam board. Epoxy works also if you have high stress areas like a firewall. In line with the models building fast, if you just do a Google search for foam board RC airplanes, you'll find literally hundreds of examples because people can build them so quickly. There's lots of great ideas. Again, you see a picture you like, copy it, you can build your own model. Reason number six for foam board is it's very easy to work with. There are really two basic tools. I use a number 11 X-Acto knife to cut the foam board. It just, it cuts that easily. Also, a little bit of practice, you can sand the foam board to get smooth edges. You're not going to get quite the precision you get with balsa, but it's easy to work with foam board and you can uh, do a bit of sanding with it. Another big advantage of the foam board is that you can apply the heat shrink coverings onto the foam board. You have to experiment with the level of heat and the type of foam you're using. I really recommend using what they call a light covering. Uh, this is park light covering. The light means that it's a lightweight covering, which is good for lightweight, but it also uses less heat. But it's a very effective way to cover the models. I did that on my Rocketeer RC model. And let's take a look and see how the Rocketeer flies now. Ooh. Reason number seven of the foam board is a term I call fail fast. In other words, you can make a mistake and learn from it pretty quickly to apply it to another model. With balsas, if you, models, if you make a mistake, you could lose months worth of building to figure out what's going on. And a perfect example of failing fast is what I did with my F4 model. I made a foam board model, the F4. You can see a picture of it here. Took it out for probably the shortest test flight I've had in my career as an RC model pilot. Let's take a look at that right now. Thank you. 
As you can see, the bottle just, it, it, it didn't even have a hint of flying. What I had done, and I'll tell you the learning point on this, is this is the F-22 model that I made before. This guy flew very well. Let's take a look to see how the F-22 flies. As you see, it flew pretty well. The key thing is it had plenty of power and a three cell battery um, and the, the motor is really screaming. But the learning point was the center of gravity is right about here for this model. So the heavy motor is pretty close to the center of balance. What had happened on the F4 is I had that heavy motor with plenty of power, it was the same motor as a matter of fact, at the front. When I hand launched it, the F4 simply didn't have enough airspeed for the elevators to be effective to hold it up and it went down. What I needed to do was keep the motor closer to the center of gravity so the elevators weren't fighting the great amount of weight at that distance from the center of gravity. Again, a learning point with a foam board. Uh, it's too bad that I spent the time painting it, but I did. But it built fairly quickly. I learned from it, and I can apply that to a second iteration of that model. An eighth advantage of foam board is it's fun to recreate some classic bolts of model airplane designs from the past. There are literally thousands of RC model airplane plans out there, many of them available for free on the internet, full size if you search around. The smaller ones can be enlarged. Again, in the description, I'll show you how to enlarge RC model plans. But what I did was I took one of the classic RC models is Clancy Aviation Lazy Bee, very popular slow flyer. Hundreds of them have been built for the Balsa version. I took a set of plans and I enlarged them and I recreated a laser bee from those plans in foam board. And here is my lazy bee from foam board. Top view and side view. This is just the right proportions of a lazy bee. The tails, the nose. On the wing, you can see I have the aileron, uh, the airfoil shape from the ailerons, and just a very simple interior for the RC model equipment. The plane flies fine. It was a lot of fun, but it's a great example of how you can take many classic balsa model airplane designs and just recreate them in foam board. Let's take a moment and watch the Lazy Bee take off and circle around to land. A ninth reason to use foam board is very easy to experiment with new ideas and new concepts. One of the things that I've been doing over the past year was exploring how model airplanes fly with flat wings. In other words, no airfoil at all. Is this possible? And I've built several models with completely flat wings with no airfoil that have flown fine. Uh, you may have to use carbon, rod, carbon rods to make sure they're strong enough. But a great example of a experiment with foam board that would be very hard to build this out of balsa is this square flyer here. The wing is 20 inches by 20 inches. It's just square. I have a little power pod here. Um, the electronics are, and battery are located in here in a fin. And on the back, I simply use elevons uh, to control it. This is the entire model and it flies quite well. But again, without foam board, it'd be very hard to build this out of ball, so it could take a lot of time, and uh, it's just fun to be able to do this quickly. So let's take a quick look at how this square flyer flies. And the tenth reason to consider using foam board, it's possible to build some models, RC models, that just would be extremely challenging, if not impossible, to do with these small size of balsa. I think a great case is this F-22. This is just ideally suited for the foam board method of construction. Again, my video goes through exactly how to do it. It's not my design, it's somebody else's plans. 
but it goes together fine. I did have the carbon rod that's put into a channel here. You can barely see it with the paint on board. There's um, plenty of room here for the uh, battery hatch and all the electronics, the two servos. It just worked out fine for foam board. Uh, this would be a lot of, lot of de detailed design and building work if you were to make it out of balsa. Thank you for joining me in this video. Um, I've had a lot of fun working with foam board. It's a great alternative to balsa. I fly balsa and foam board. Experiment, it's amazing the range of models you can do. They're lightweight, electric power. They really fly pretty well. And good luck to you at the RC field.